What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. Alright guys, we got some downtime. The event is going on. Everyone is probably farming the candies and the pumpkins. So I figured this is actually a really good time to update the tier list with a couple different changes, add in some new weapons, and then add in a brand new character. So Barrett, we're going to put Barrett into here as well too. But besides doing that, I want to make sure that we have the existing one up to par and that everything makes sense. So as usual, I'm going to go ahead and use the game itself to show you guys what the weapon does, how it functions, what the max capacity is, and then we're going to put it into the tier list. Okay, so before I do that though, let's make sure everything here makes sense. So first thing we're going to do now that Cloud has a little bit more of a support role we're going to put crystal sword up to s now giving him the ability to do to be actually a really good healer with fast animation now the only reason why he's not going to have ss here realistically prime number and fairy tail have higher potency for healing uh, and they have better gear for healing now his newest gear if you went for it will provide you a little bit of heal as well for stats so this is why this is going to go up his brand new weapon bandage sword is also going to sit under s because it's a really good mitigation weapon for magic damage specifically so we're going to put it in s it's definitely not ss though uh, and actually you're going to see that barrett also has something else to offer that's very similar to that so let's continue on here with the rest of the characters i think this pretty much evens out where i wanted it to go yeah i think we're good there um brand new weapon for sephiroth okay physical gale wind attack weapon now sephiroth himself is actually really good at physical damage my complaint was that I think it's too soon to bring out a physical attack weapon, only two banners later after his drop. But if you are whaling and if or if you are a free to play and you went for it, uh, you're going to be pleasantly surprised at how much damage it does. I would say it's very equivalent to the Murasami. It's like it's pretty much its counterpart for Sephiroth being wind versus this. Now, of course, the garbs are a little different. Cloud does have the 35% damage with his garb versus Sephiroth's 20, but you can't take away from the fact that it does insane damage. So definitely going to be an SS for Sephiroth for that weapon. If you do plan to go physical Sephiroth, you should definitely go for this. All right, for me personally, my free to play, I'm going to hold off, but on my on my Dolphin account actually did go for it, got it up to uh, full red, and it's been doing wonders. But again, on my free-to-play, I'm just not ready to do that swap yet. So whether you do go free-to-play for that or not, it's still going to serve you really well, especially for brand-new players who are starting. It's going to be one of your better weapons, okay? Um, Prism Rod. This is one of Aerith's um, fit, uh, uh, attack weapons, I guess. So if you are going to build her as a, an attack unit with her dress, if you did go for it, Prism Rod is going to be one of your top DPS weapons for Aerith. So definitely goes up there. And the Killer Hornet, of course, is going to be Matt's main DPS weapon now. Non-elemental, physical, but has the highest, one of the highest physical attack traits. Amazing sub-weapon, amazing secondary weapon. And overall, also gives you the diamond-shaped sigil that not a lot of weapons have. So there you guys go. All of those weapons are going to sit up here. Uh, and then there's Cloud's weapon and then Sephiroth's weapon up there, okay? So let's move on to Barrett. Let's go ahead and start off with our boy. So we're going to start off with his most powerful weapon right now and it's probably one of the best sub-weapons in the game for him and that's going to be the Hauser, okay? The, the, um, the Heavy Hauser is his hardest hitting weapon with the crit ability, boost attack, and has the very uh, wanted boost ability potency. If you look here, it can go pretty damn high, 40 and 36 at max, and then 940% damage with a chance to crit. His materia itself is actually really good too. Support materia gets physical attack, physical attack, and sigil boost for circle. You guys can see here, the stats are really, really high as well. So a very good sub weapon, main weapon or secondary weapon, probably one of his best weapons in the game. So we're going to go ahead and give this one an SS where it belongs. You guys can see here, it's getting pretty stacked up there, but there are a lot of good weapons, right? So you got to stay true to that no matter what. All right, next up, let's go over to, I think this is the Gatling gun. Yep. So it deals 400 physical non-elemental damage with the ability to crit, boost HP, boost water resistant. If you look here, it's attack, attack, and physical attack. This one here is not quite as good. It does go pretty high in damage. You guys can see here 750, but it's still probably one of his worst weapons for actual damage if you compare it to the hauser especially right so this one here is going to be a little bit less in terms of want uh we're going to give this an a okay so that'll get an a right there all right let's move on to the next one we'll do this right here the assault gun 
Physical defense has increased. All allies. Really, really good weapon. And also does a heal. Boost heal, boost ice resistance. You can see here it's pretty much similar to Cloud's newest weapon. Except it does the physical defense up versus the magic defense up. So this one here is going to get the same grade. Oopsie, sorry guys. Let me see. Let me go back here for a sec. It's going to get the same grade as Cloud's. Yeah, that was the right one. I'm trying to remember his, the look and feel of his weapons. It's going to be an S. Okay. All physical attack for all allies. Same duration same heal pretty much identical almost to the traits and the support material the our ability and the support material so definitely gonna sit on s uh now you guys are seeing how much buffing is important in this game especially when it's all allies it's really gonna help right i'm not gonna put his free to play weapon in here by the way guys everybody should have that we're not gonna rate it it's not, it's not something you're summoning for so we're gonna stay out of those okay completely all right next up we got heavy vulcan so this one here is pretty much the chocobo staff for free um, mid potency, single ally, does a heal, boost magic defense, etc. Right? If you, like, I mean, realistically, the main thing about this one is it's the same as the free uh, staff that we're getting currently. So, at the end of the day, the only really big bonus here with the heavy Vulcan is the fact that it increases buff duration and debuff duration. But again, just not worth it. So, we're gonna toss this into the uh, B column, and that's where the chocobo staff would go as well if I had a chance. But that's gonna sit there for now. Okay. All right, let's move on to the next one. Oh, this one we just did, the Heavy Vulcan. W, w Machine. Okay, so this is... The thing with Barrett is he's really good at doing two things. Damage dealing and debuffing. He's really, really good at debuffing. So this here specifically is one of his better ones. It actually reduces physical defense up to high potency. Does boost physical attack as well. And also gives you lightning resist. So great, great, great against Ramu. Pretty much built for Ramu, to be honest. And physical attack across the board. This is definitely one of his best weapons in the game. So this is definitely going to have an SS quality right there. And then enemy launcher here is going to be another one. Actually, you know what? Solid Bazooka. We'll do Solid Bazooka next. Uh, this is the counterpart to that. It actually um, reduces magic attack. And pretty much essential for every boss fight in the game that has magic attack as the main thing. So if it's Ifrit, Shiva, or if it's Ramu, doesn't matter. Uh, Solo Bazooka is probably one of his best weapons. So I'm going to toss that up there. Uh, it has really good... Actually, you know what? No. We're going to toss this one down here. We're going to give it an S. And the reason why is actually it's pretty much a counterpart to all of... Because um, I didn't give Tifa SS on that. Because the only reason why it's not getting SS is... And this is the reason why. None of the debuff weapons got SS except for the uh, W Machine. W Machine has amazing R abilities and support material. The other ones all have decent R abilities and decent support material. And the reason why I'm not giving them SS is because not every boss or enemy is uh, has the... Um, th some bosses, some enemies, sorry, have immunities to debuffs, right? So because they kind of lack the R abilities and the support material, I'm going to drop them one down compared to the W machine, which probably has the best R abilities, in my opinion, and support material in the game for a debuffing weapon, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, next up, enemy launcher. Amazing, amazing weapon. So first off, uh, all enemies, it's an all enemy attack weapon, so an AoE, 650%, which is really high, but the beauty here is it gives you the boost attack and the most wanted for physical damage dealers, boost physical ability potency at 48 points, which is crazy. Uh, this can actually push right here up to to level six and that increases all of your physical abilities uh damage by 70 percent when your attack stance is maxed out right so very very good weapon probably one of his most uh, like probably his best weapon in the game i'd say next to the heavy hauser uh attack boost physical attack physical attack so incredible incredible weapon for him and amazing sub weapon as well too so we're going to give this also an ss there we go oh let me go back in here guys sorry okay we only got a few weapons left for him here uh where did bear go very, very, there you are. Okay. So, Max Ray. Uh, decent weapon. Good single target damage. Goes up to 750, but again, nothing really to, take, like, to brag about. I would say this is probably the equivalent to right there. I'd say maybe A. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll give it an S. It's actually a pretty decent weapon. Actually, no. You know what? It's an A. It's an A. The, the reason why I'm putting, giving it an A is the physical defense boost is nice. The boost crit is nice, but again, it's only 10%. And then these here are decent. If this was more like physical, or sorry, magic, magic, because it's a magic weapon, it'd be higher, but I think this is more of an A. And then lastly, the uh, coveted flame projector. Now, this is amazing because, number one, it's AoE. 
all flame damage. Look how high it goes. Magic attack, our ability is 40 and 36 for fire potency. And it gives you the beautiful magic boost across the board. Probably his best magic weapon. Also going to be an SS. So there you guys have it. I think that pretty much boosts everything up to where it needs to be. This should be a pretty completed tier list. If you guys have any comments or questions, let me know. I would love to hear from you guys about it. Now we've added Barrett and updated everybody else. Next up, we have Lucia, Glenn, Zach, and I think that actually might... Oh, Red 13. So we got those four still left to add to the tier list, and then we'll have it complete, and I'll keep updating this as much as I possibly can. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.